And we're back with some more RimWorld. And Slim over here is having a good day. We've got some traders here that we're going to trade with. Well, after we have a snack. Snack first, then trade. Oh, and while they're here, we're going to accept this quest, Patton and the Squirrels. Basically, we get a colonist, but he gets attacked by eight squirrels. I figure eight squirrels will be no problem for this crew. They can totally handle it. Uh, where's Patton? Come on. Oh, there we go. Patton joins. Now, be a good colonist. We need to expand, so be decent. You are staggeringly ugly, abrasive, asexual. Great, so you won't hook up with our colonist. You're also going to oh, be incredibly ugly and abrasive, which means you're going to fight all the time. Wonderful, wonderful. I see you turning into a mood boost for our colony. Uh, we will put you right there. Uh, yeah. All right, let's see what the traders have on offer then. Maybe the traders have something better going on. Well, this is not great. Uh, they're tribal ones, so they don't actually have any decent weaponry. I was really hoping for a smoke launcher and EMP launcher, but it's fine. It's fine. They don't even bite a thrombo horn. We have two more thrombo horns we can chop up, so that would have been a nice little taste of cash. Instead, we're going to sell them all the random weapons and clothing we have lying around and some pemmican, which honestly, the pemmican is what's giving us the most money. I was going to keep the pemmican, but I thought... Nah, well, it's not like we're going to use it that much anyway. And... Oh, actually, you come with clothes, don't you? Is your clothes any good? You know what? We can sell your clothes. You, you, it'll make us a pretty penny. Man hunting pack... Oh, wait, yeah, the squirrels. I almost forgot about those. Uh, you move at 5.1 and you move at... Ooh, you might make it, you might not. Please make it, though. I, I, want, I want your clothing. Good job, Patton. You made it all the way here. Uh, now what I'd like you to do is drop off the gear. Actually, wait, let's make sure that their leader survives. Oh, where did I put Hope? Hope? Where are... Oh, Hope's in bed. Never mind. Hope's, fi Hope's fine. Um, yeah, this went about how I was expecting it to go. A bunch of squirrels just got absolutely ruffle stomped. Well, you know, I didn't really expect them to do much damage. Eight hours and you're bleeding out. Oh, that's a lot of scratches. Uh, they'll probably heal him up. I, I can't see him dying. But on the right side, gear, drop, drop, drop. You know, their clothes was worth 181 silver. That was uh, actually pretty worthwhile. Ooh, and there's a good bonus to them being so just, well, hideous. Uh, one second, we're going to get them over there. And the thing is, they're a rival. Because they're staggeringly ugly, they basically get a, minus, a negative 20 social with everyone. So, the rival... Yeah, here we go. Patton. Minus 50? Uncovered groin and check groin. Okay, so because they're naked, it's a minus 10. Physically hideous is another minus 40. Oh, they get a minus 10 just because of the ideology thing. I wonder if there's any... Mm. No, not going to worry about that. But what that means is, if they were to die, let's say... Um, oof. Yeah, and we shall... Oh, damn it. Every time I forget to set this for prisoner. You'd think I would have gotten used to this by now. You, try to arrest. Perfect. And then tend to hope. Or maybe we'll just uh, take care of the prisoner first. Now, it used to be that when it came to executing these, you could get a point of development for your religion, but they patched it out, it seems. It was a little bit too powerful. I remember on a previous playthrough, I was just milking it for development points, and it was kind of insane after a while. All right, uh, you... And if we check under mood here, there should be something about rival. Yeah, my rival patent died. Plus five mood boost for ten days. That's just mm, beautiful. Ha! Some of the tribes people left mid-snack because of the dangerous temperatures, which is, is kind of good. They they dropped the food they were holding, so we got our hands on a bunch of pemmican for free. Uh, thanks very much, guys. Crocodile, how you doing? Bleeding out in five hours. This guy, I... This guy might not make it off the map. Their consciousness is dropping. They're bleeding all over the shop. And I think, yeah, they're definitely out of medkits. So I think we're going to get another 36 pemmican on top of that. Unless they can make, you got five hours to get to the edge of map moving at 0 0.81 and you're bleeding everywhere. I don't know how well you're going to do. Actually, just clean that room before you go to bed. The place is filthy. These guys uh, wandered in and out of our house just a tad. Yeah, Crocodile didn't make it off the map. We're going to rescue them, bring them back, patch them up. Maybe get ourselves a little bit of... Uh, mood boost with those crowd. Reason being, we can call in a trade caravan later if we get our... You know, the more goodwill we get, the better. We don't have to be murdering everyone, you know? Though I, uh, 
I'm pretty sure we can't actually save them. They have too many cuts, and unless we want to use medicine to bandage multiple ones of them, they might just bleed out on us before we get a chance. That is some extreme blood loss. And despite all the patching, their, their hours of survival are still going down. Eh, we'll see. Well, yeah, kind of to be expected. But hey, bunch of free medical experience and a fresh corpse. What the? Combat supplier from the Teen Coalition. Okay. Fine. Uh, you know what? We'll find out when you get here. But yeah, guns and ammo. We would we would really appreciate them. Slim here is exhausted. It's been like just nothing but constant stuff happening all the time. Um. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to get you out of bed early, namely because, well, we want to talk to them before they leave the map. The temperatures here are not too pleasant. Plus, we want to butcher up both those thrombos. That will give us two thrombo horns that we can sell them. Or butcher at least one of the thrombos. I want to keep one thrombo horn as a weapon. Uh, and you immediately go and trade with that guy once you've had your snack. Well, unfortunately, the only thing they have that we'd like is the frag grenades. I would prefer some molotovs, but some frag grenades can do double duty until we get our hands on those. Flak helmet would be nice as well, but we can't really afford it. And they don't buy thrombo horns either. I'm beginning to remember now, it's only exotic goods traders that buy those things. And the chances of one of those coming by, I believe, are very slim. So I'm thinking grenades? Yeah, thank you kindly. Now, where where did you put those grenades? Come on. Who dropped the gr There we go. Perfect. We gotta hold those inside. And the new crowd is left as well. It seems they don't like the temperatures in this location either. I'm gonna have to be more careful about that. Um, never mind. We've got our grenades. We can now do some cleanup, though. I would also like to get Slim back to on an even keel. Look at the recreation done. The rest, they got a little bit interrupted, namely because this whole place got filtered up by our uh, guests coming in and out. And I think the first thing I want to do is use those grenades to get rid of some of those corpses. There's just too many of them. I mean, oh yeah, if we click on one of them here and highlight them on the map, come on. You can see there's, there's just loads. I think, yeah, get them all into one location and take care of the problem. You see, every single one of these corpses adds wealth to a colony, no matter what state they're in, and their tainted clothing also, though greatly reduced. So just destroying a bunch of these corpses reduces the damage we face when our enemies come after us. Now, uh, we've still got a couple of long-distance corpses to grab. Have you... Had a, oh, no, 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 no. Go, go, go grab back, back and grab a meal. I still have them set to not eat unless I tell them to, which... Yeah, doesn't... Sometimes I'm, I'm a little bit lax about that. Okay, last two. Grab the last two corpses and then it's uh, fireworks time. Now, one thing to remember while I'm doing this, zone your animals far away from where the explosions are going to be. For some reason, animals, your animals, are attracted to explosions. No one knows why. It's just the mystery of the dance. Also, anything to do with the uh, Molotovs, same thing. They're attracted to fire as well. Now, every time we hit these corpses, they go for... Well, yeah. It degrades them, just like that. Uh, and we're not going to get rid of all of them, of course. We still need to leave some food around for hope. But I think we can get rid of a whole chunk of them. Done. That looks far, far cleaner. All right, next up, some change I want to make as well. We've been cooking up simple meals. Namely because, well, they're cheap and easy. 0 0.5 nutrition gives you 0.9. Uh, 0 .5, 0 0.5 of meat gives you 0.9 nutrition, so it's a nice gain. However, I want to start cooking carnivore fine meals. Now, you can make fine meals using vegetarian and meat, and that's actually quite cheap, 0.5 nutrition. We'll have to use 0.75 to make the carnivore fine meals. We have so much meat, we don't care. So, let's just cook one of those up now. Uh, but I'm thinking this will be the way we go forward, because we have so much meat right now. That it's actually becoming a wealth issue. We might want to actually eat through a little bit of our backlogs. It's nice to have some leftover supplies and all that, but oh, and our fridge is starting to get too warm. Spoils in 18 days. I yeah, actually we're also gonna have to expand out our refrigeration area. In fact, that's the very next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a big expansion. But I'm thinking, yes, carnivore fine meal will make a stockpile for you, and uh, we'll prioritize hauling. Then We'll grab ourselves a, a quick snack. We're going to consume the last of the simple meals, and then we're going to expand out this section. I think I know what way I'm going to do it. There. This expansion will take 105 steel. We have 414, so pretty cheap. It gets It's deceptive how cheap it is to build walls, especially when you're cutting corners. Literally. Uh, this should give us another fridge area, and we can maybe turn this into another living area for our newest pawns? Maybe? Hmm. We'll see. Uh, start the building process. Well, barring the quick stop for a nap, that actually worked out quite well. 
Now this should become our new fridge area, refrigeration area. This will become another room, and I need to get all that stuff out of there before it starts to spoil, especially the meals. But, uh, yeah, I'm thinking we could probably do most of our storage in here. There's a double airlock made out of, uh, animal flaps. And, perfection, let me do a little bit of moving around here. That's much cleaner. So we have three rooms now. We have this room here, which is an awful workshop. We've even moved the electric smelter in here. We can't use it here, but at least it won't get destroyed. Uh, at the same time, we've got the wooden butcher's table in here. You're working in the dark, so it's going to be slower, but we've got time. We've got time. Uh, this room over here is going to be, well, it's going to be our next bedroom for whatever pawn we hire next. And this here will just remain Slim's place. Uh, at the same time, we've got a quest available for the ancient Lord or corpus, whatever. We're going to accept it. We basically want to find that relic if at all possible. If it shows up, great. That would be nice to get our hands on. It's a legendary charge rifle. We're, we're not going to put it in a reliquary. We're going to equip it. And finally, we have a raid that's going to stage then attack from the kinship of whoever. What I'm liking is there's only three of them. The last raid had four people with guns. This is just three people. Destroying all those corpses seem to have helped an awful lot. All right, then. Let's, uh, yeah, let's Actually, we don't even have to prepare. They're going to be a while. We can go grab a snack, get our nap in, and we will have Hope. Actually, Hope, if you want to go grab a snack now, is probably the time to do so. Yeah, she, she's pretty hungry. I kept her inside for too long. My bad. And body parts eating 14%. She's actually not much of an eater. She can get by like a whole corpse. will keep her going for like, like a week. Ooh, ooh, our first crop's going to come in. Wood, 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 wood. What the... Are we just getting one wood? It's fully grown. There is... We have 60 wood. We Harvest botched. We only get one wood for each of these? One wood? What? Why did I... Okay, so I wasted all that time growing... Three wood. Three... I need a tea. After checking on the wiki, it turns out you get two wood for fiber corn. That is, um, I was not expecting it to be that bad. I probably should have done a bit of research. I was expecting like, you know, four or five wood, and then we would use them to make wall segments. That's pointless. Oh my God, I'd much rather grow drugs and sell it for money. Then we could buy more, well, more wall making material. Uh, what's the movement speed on these guys? Okay, you are miles behind. Why are you 3.5, 3.68, 3.35? Why are you moving so slowly? Okay, um, second. I think we'll move out a bit to attack them. Yeah, we got a 3.68, so we could probably outrun them reasonably. Well, we could get off a shot or two at a distance. Yeah, I want to basically draw their attention. I'd prefer not to turn on the mini turret, mini turret if we can avoid it. It has charges for the turret, we'd have to repair the barrel. And plus, if it blows up, it would be a rather expensive replacement. It was 100 steel. So I only want to really turn this on to protect the wind turbine. That's the only time I'm going to use it. Um, okay, why is that other one drawing up the rear? That makes no sense to me. Chemical interest greedy? Are you suffering from... No, you're not suffering from health conditions. You're just lazy. I think we can angle this a little bit better. Okay. Shoot. Yeah, kind of expected. We're fighting in foggy rain. One hit. Please pull back to the door. Get off one more. Oh. They are looking... unhealthy. Perfect. And the thing is, we're not supposed to be able to stop on that tile, but if we just say stop there and go boom. Oh, no. Back a little bit further. There we go. How is that guy still up? Tough. Ah, oh, great. The first pawn is a toughie. And in that case, I'm going to shoot the pawn behind you. Eh, that way, if he blocks any shots, it's just bonus damage. Seriously, that guy is tough. How are you doing, Hope? Hope's doing fine. Hope's doing fine. Oh, perfect. One down. Laboa. Uh, two down. Okay, try to live whatever, are fleeing. You're dead, you're dead, you're fleeing in panic. Well, that's good to know. Um, in that case, 2.8. You can only move a 2.8 because you've been damaged. 
That guy can outrun you at 3.5. However, I think we can go out and take a few pot shots at them. Come on. What? Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. No, 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 no. If we could at least get... What have you got in gear? Herbal medicine? Yeah, I'd like that herbal medicine. Hmm. Come on, come on, come on. Get to the corner. Get to the corner. Ooh, 2.69. I believe that means you're ours. How? How did we miss every single shot? Like, not a single hit. I counted. It was seven volleys. We fired seven volleys and didn't hit a single shot. I mean, our shooting skill's not great. We're at five. But, come on. Five? Like, seven volleys in a row? I suppose it's foggy rain and it's not the best conditions. But still, that was terrifyingly bad. Uh, you. We want to smelt up some of those uh, steel knives. Oh, the weather controller has stopped. It is no longer changing the weather, so now the foggy rain should disappear. Ah, oh, that's actually kind of nice. Uh, we will go store that electric smelter back inside somewhere. We're going to keep the electric smelter from falling into enemy hands. Well, with all that done, I think it's get time we got back to research. There's no point harvesting any more steel because, well, okay, maybe. We could put down a second wind turbine, a second battery, and start actually doing hydroponics on food-based items or drugs or something along those lines. I just don't see the point. I also don't see the point of actually doing clothing. Well, maybe. We could put down a hand tailoring bench and maybe do a little bit of tailoring to turn some of this uh, stuff into uh, something usable. I'm just not sure how valuable it is to us just yet. I'd almost prefer to sell it raw and save our time to actually do some research. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, yeah, I'd move some things around. Uh, we need to knock out the research to get us comms console. The comms console is what's going to be a lifesaver here and give us access to a reasonable stream of material. Turns out this fiber corn stuff was a complete bust. Oh well, you live and you learn. We actually face a bit of a dilemma. Our food is starting to spoil. It's gone above one, it's one degree outside and oh, we need to put in some refrigeration. This feels completely wrong, but yeah, maybe I should have picked a better location on the map to start. I mean, the temperature here says minus two. So, what gives? Go as high as... Well, we could have went to as low as minus six if we went all the way to the edge. Probably should have. Mm. Yep, I guess that's another one of those live and you learn moments. All right, then. That means we're going to have to put in a freaking cooler. Oh, my God. This feels... On the bright side, we can use it to heat this room. I think we're going to have to place it there. Yeah, and I think if we're going to do that, we're going to move the battery. Since we have to run power wires, we're going to... We, we're going to get... Short outs, and I don't really care if the fiber corn dies, to be honest, at this point. That stuff was a, a wasted experiment. Give me a minute here to do a little bit of rejigging. I'll just quickly move the battery from one location to the other. That should make sure all the hydroponics are still going. And then we'll stick ourselves in a power conduit. So now we have to deal with the possibility of power uh, shorts. That's unfortunate, but it's just the way it is. Um, will that cooler fit? Oh, damn it. Okay, we'll extend that power wire just a scooch more to about there. Uh, perfect. We'll get in our... Uh, but I can't believe we have to actually install a cooler. On the right side, this will actually heat up the room on the opposite side. So, you know, it's not the end of the world. Well, yes, we are using refrigeration on the ice sheet. This feels horribly wrong. It's just that if we don't, we're probably going to have some of that food go off. And this is basically long-term food storage. We can't afford that. How are we looking on the meat front? I should probably butcher something up. Oh, and it's been pointed out to me, I shouldn't let things starve to death. For example, if you look at this, this is this yak is going to provide 235 meat. However, if we look at our second yak, this one is only going to provide 94 meat. Reason being, malnutrition. If you let an animal starve to death, you get less meat out of it, which makes sense. But uh, I think that's a new enough mechanic. I was I don't think that existed before, so uh, nice, nice of them to sneak that one in on me. I had no idea. Rare thrombos. Ah, the joy of the ice sheet. Well, there's two of you. Any of you have health conditions? Hey, cataracts, hearing loss, artery blockage, bad back. There we go. That's a prop, like, 3.08. You're, you're a, you're a ditty. And a 5.50. Hmm. Hmm. 
I think we replaced the front door, which is currently made of wood, with a steel front door. If you check under the build menu, you'll see that a wooden door has 104 hit points, and a steel door has 160. So that might give us just that little bit more leeway if I mess this up. Uh, but we definitely want to... Down. Okay, fine, take a nap, but then you're replacing the door. Uh, and then we got to figure out what we're going to do with these hydroponics. I think I'm going to leave doing anything useful with these hydroponics until after we finish our research. It's just all the stuff we've been doing has distracted so much from it that I think it's actually hurt our research speed substantially. I mean, if you look at us, we're actually a seven intellectual. I think we started far, far lower than that. Oh, and uh, do us a favor, get that wood out of the way. All right, uh, once you grab a snack in a wee bit, we're going to go grab ourselves some thrombos. Well, we would go grab some thrombos if they'd split up far enough that we're not worried about the two of them killing us. Ooh, I think we might be... Oh, there we go, definitely. Okay, you. Get it. Time to get out there. Uh, we're going to leave Hope behind. We don't want her getting involved in this. Uh, let's see. Yeah, or sorry, him getting involved in this. In fact, we should probably let you let later to grab a snack, but for now, open that door, crank it open. We're going to go pick a fight. And we're going to pick a fight with the healthier one, I think. Healthier one first, not so healthy one second. Come on, come on, there we go. How are you doing? You're not angry at all. Mad Manhunter, that is perfect. We will pull you back to there. We just want to make sure we're safe. Now, the way it's, I've had this described to me is, it doesn't matter if they pound on the door. You should be able to repair it faster than they can hurt it, and then they'll just walk away. And all you got to do is get them, you know, hurt enough that they start bleeding out. Oh, that feels like close enough. Close the door. Get back inside. Should get off one more shot before the door closes. Yeah, there we go. Three shots straight to the face. Still no immediate danger. That's, um, that's impressive. All right, and then we should just be able to repair the door. Repair steel door. They'll get bored and wander away, and then once they're far enough away, we pop out and take some more pot shots. And then we slowly but surely grind them down. That's the theory. I mean, we don't have to do it straight away. We can take a quick nap while we're waiting. Damn, those things, though, are so tough. Like, despite all those shots, it's still like, yep, not close to bleeding out at all. You know, it's much easier to hit things when they're a large target. And as well as that, you know, you haven't... Uh, Got all that foggy rain to deal with. One more hit. Oh, I'm gonna let them get too close. Uh, close the door. Close the door. Close the door. Okay. That was a little bit nervous making, but it's fine. It's fine. Still not bleeding out? Come on. Oh, 19 hours. 19 hours. Okay, we just gotta hold that for 19 hours. I think we're in a good enough position. It's moving at 2.70, so I think... We don't have to keep doing this anymore. We'll just uh, run and gun, I think, is probably our best bet. You just run away from it, get off a few shots, turn around, shoot it some more. I mean, it's down to 2.09, and we can run at 4.43. I think we got this. Weird. I think it actually sort of fell over for a second and got back up because it's now no longer Manhunter. Works for me. Let's go get the second one. Or we could just tend to this one. I mean, it's got lots of injuries and, well, medical experience, floating around for free, why not? Whoa, 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 whoa. No, we had to put down an animal spot so we wouldn't accidentally use our glitter world, but yeah, we can get a little bit of medical experience out of this. We're not going to save its life. It's it. still going to be meat. Saving squint. Prisoner. Yeah, 25-year-old, two turrets and one mortar, and two outlanders didn't defend the site. There may be an unknown threat. Ah. Huh. How far away are you? I'd almost like to go there just to grab the turrets and the mortar. Though it would be dangerous. I don't think we need them, though. Look, the more wealth we have, the more problems we're going to acquire. So I think we just, we want to stay poor, do our research and all our bits and bobs. Oh my god. I think at some point this thrombo might actually self-tame. I think you have a 1 or 2% chance every time you apply medicine to it. We could actually potentially accidentally save its life. At which point we'd have to shoot it again. Yeah, never mind. We didn't manage to save its life. Let's go grab the next one. Uh, oh, actually, let's go grab a meal first. Yeah, we'll go grab a meal and some rest, and then we'll go tackle the second one. Let's go pick a fight with a second thrombo. This one, however, is much slower. At 3.08, I think we already outrun it. Yeah. Not enough that I'd be willing to kite it just yet, but... Uh, 
Let's maybe take one more shot and then close the door. And I think that's shooting level six, is it? Hells yeah, that's going to come in handy. Uh, you, back inside, door closed behind you. Come on, quick, 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 quick. Yeah, no, that's fine. Ooh. All right, this thing's slowed down to 2.15. I think we let it run away a bit and then we kite it. We'll grab in a little bit more healing experience and then we'll just go grab this thing and uh, carry it back to butchering. Well, our larder is looking very, very, very well stocked. I think it's time we started chopping a bunch of those up there. We're almost out of meat. But uh, carnivore fine meals is uh, our future from now on. A psychic sued to help us out. Uh, thanks, Randy. I'm sure you'll do something to make that not worth my while at a later date. A 16. Nice. I'm not sure how sold I am on biphasic sleeping schedules. They're great and all that, but at the same time, it seems to break up the day so much. Well, we're in a really small location, so there's no real travel times, but it tends to make it harder for me to get things done. Oh, wow, that's a lot of yak meat. Right. Well, that's fine. So long as all, everything in here is going to be preserved forever, we're grand. I've set this to minus four. Uh, temperature outside right now is five. How is it five degrees outside? We're on an ice sheet. Uh, never mind. <coughs> Light on the fiber corns. Blight has been discovered. You should cut or burn the affected plants before the blight spreads. What were you at there, Blight? 98% growth. That's, um... Oh, Randy. You are just the best. Just the... <laughs> chop wood. Will that work? Yeah. Just, just chop them all down. Hey, hey, come on. Yeah, just, just get rid of a lot of them. There's no point. The rest we can just let burn because we don't care. That was a very expensive and time-consuming experiment in wastefulness. That was uh, completely pointless. Hmm. Good to know. Good to know. Quest available, the tribal machine. Is this part of the uh, info? A terminal containing information about the Locorpus. However, the terminal is surrounded by a tribal village and the locals venerate it. They aren't part of any major faction. They are willing to let you visit on the pretense of worshipping it, but they will attack when you touch it. You can attach the village from the you can attack the village from the outside or enter peacefully and try to quickly escape with the data from the terminal. Beware, if you spend over ten hours in the village or build anything near it, the locals will attack and call reinforcements. Oh well yeah. We kinda have to have a look at that one at some point. We might fail it though. Where is this? Uh jump to worshipful village. Ooh, it's quite close by as well. Hmm. Kind of want to go and see if it's possible for us to touch it and then run out without getting involved in combat. We're just one person. We don't even have a flak vest. So we need to be fast enough to leg it. We don't have anything that slows us down. I think it might be possible. Also, clothes-wise, clothing-wise, we're fine right now. We don't need any extra clothing to keep us warm. So, yeah, we might want to make a run for it. In fact, it's 9 o'clock in the morning now. We have food, rest, recreation. I say let's go for it. I think first we put together a plain leather bedroll so we have something to bring with us if we need to, uh, s well, to nap along the way. We're going to be leaving our, our base entirely undefended though. That's problematic. Actually, no. We'll be leaving Hope behind. Hope can take care of the place while we're gone. And perfect. Uh, bedroll poor. Seriously? You know what? I'm not even... No, no. Uh, you uh, prioritize deconstructing that if you wouldn't mind. We're going to make a second one. So you get it right. Normal? Normal will do. I'm beginning to realize just how lucky we were to get a good silver bed when we started. We only had a seven in construction when we got that. That was, yeah, that actually is a huge advantage. It gives you a rest effectiveness bonus, so we spend 8% less time sleeping. That's always nice. All right, let's 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 kit up and move out. And off we go. When it comes to this playthrough, I'm trying to avoid leaving this tile, like, not... Not leaving it, but uh, raiding other tiles for resources. As in, I want to survive on what we can scrounge from here and what Randy sort of drifts by. So ancient dangers, stuff like that. You don't, I don't want to go out and find, uh, you know, settlements like that and then strip all their wood and things to bring back to our colony. That feels a little bit too, not easy, but just a little bit cheaty on the, the whole idea behind this. The idea behind this is just to strive to survive in that small little location. It is slow moving out here in the snow. Quest available, Anna's Forced Weather. Ooh, what's this? Anna Melodius. Mel a lovely name, I must admit. A Duchess of the Wretch VG Empire wants to perform a low power test. If she does, a weather control system will force the weather around just because Minnesota Silver to be foggy rain for 7.8 days. Yeah, sure. Since the. Uh, yep, she needs your 
permission, we get honor or advanced components or a crit work. We're going to take the honor, but not just yet. Not until we get home. I want to make sure I can bring that Glitter World medicine inside in case it degrades out. Well, it will degrade outside, especially because we'll have foggy rain going on all the time. That's assuming I don't do something stupid and die here. All right, there's only one door. There seems to be three people. Is that it? Bow, bow, oof. I hate the fact they all have bows. Okay. Let's get in here and get to there. And what we need to do is we can't stay here too long, otherwise they're going to get suspicious. So we need to touch this and get out. Eh. Mm, there's two ways. Both of them appear to be blocked at the moment. Okay. You guys want to get out of here at all, or...? No, still too risky. We may just have to leave this quest. It might be too dangerous. Okay, I'll give it till about... Well, oh, 15, 1600 hours. If it's 1600 hours, an opportunity hasn't presented itself, we leave. I think... I think this is their best option. They're all on one side. We can get a clear path that direction. No one in the way. Uh, hack the terminal. How long does this take? Oh, God. Oh, crap. Run. 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 Oh, God. No, this was a mistake. This was a mistake. Oh, my God. What's your speed at? 3.59. What's your... Oh, God. Zigzag. Zigzag. This isn't Game of Thrones. Zigzag. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Oh, wow. Okay, I didn't... Uh, that was incredibly risky. Okay, once we're out of here, we can tend to ourselves. We brought along six of medicine. That was dumb. That was so dumb. Okay. It's fine. Fine. We've, we've already bandaged up one of them. Oh, my God. We, we took 11 damage from that hit. Come on, bandage up the other one. Bandage up the other one and get out of here. It's going to take us 0.8 of a day to get home, which gives us a little bit of time to heal up from... Yeah, that. Oh, never again. Don't do something that stupid again. Oh, it's good to be home. All right, well, it would be if you'd hurry up. Come on. There you go. Perfect. Now, let's get you back inside. And, oh, get you some recreation and some food and a whole bunch of other stuff. We also need to accept that quest. Yeah, we'll take it for the honor. Thank you kindly. Forced weather. Yeah, well, whatever. We have completed the quest, the tribal machine. Uh, forced weather has begun. That's going to last for seven or eight days, whatever. And we got some transport pods with her, with medicine arriving. I think I'll actually grab that in a minute. For now, we need to grab a meal and maybe some recreation. On the bright side, this rain will make sure all of those blood piles we leave lying around the place will be gone. You know, we don't have to worry about their blood so much anymore. The thing is, if that had, a, if the, either of those arrows had to hit our legs, we might not have been able to make it clear. They might have just shot us down before we got any further away. Like a bad leg hit and we were dead there. We've no armor, no nothing. Oh. Not doing that again. Not doing that again. And some donkeys joined us. Really? I'm not keeping them. Not a chance. Uh... I mean, they can be trained for nothing. They're basically pack animals. And the nearest place we can go is like, yeah, all the way down there. It would take us weeks. So, fridge. One little tip I got is put down some animal sleeping spots outside. When it comes nighttime, they'll come to us. We don't have to go get them. So we don't have to rope the donkeys or anything like that. Assuming they don't escape before then, but they should stick around long enough to come over here. At which point we can just butcher them or, you know, rope them up. It saves us having to run to the edge of the map. And another person has joined us. Uh, Thompson. Counselor named Thompson. She's willing to contribute and not leave voluntarily. Well, in that case, let's accept. People have arrived. Please be not terrible. I actually do want to hire someone. Quick sleeper. Ascetic? Volatile? Okay, the volatile I don't like. But the ascetic, yes. Yes, that's good. Quick sleeper. Also really good. Incapable of cooking. We could have medical, nine, social... Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I think I think we want to keep her. I prefer if she was male so that we could get the two of them to hook up, but... Yeah, this works. Wait, wait, I just had another look at volatile. Plus 15% to mental break threshold. I don't think we can afford that out here on the rim. That's just... Um, we can't keep everyone that happy. It's going to be 
tough enough as it is to keep basic pawns happy. I'm thinking... Yeah, sorry. I mean, Quick Sleeper and Ascetic were great, it's just... That volatile stuff is sort of a death sentence. All right, we'll bring you inside, I suppose. Strip off your gear and... Oh, you've got some simple meals. And uh, then we'll get you to stand in some water for a bit. Well, let's not be super hasty here. The thing is, I mean... She does have an intellectual of eight, so we can put her on the research bench for a while and definitely speed up her research just a tad. So, I mean, we don't have to get rid of her instantly. We'll just wait till she has a mental break, arrest her, and just, you know, make sure she stays away from the chem fuel and uh, any of the corpses here we don't want to lose. And if there's any problems, well, Slim can take care of it. And if not, Hope will take care of it, one or the other. So maybe just make her a bed, I suppose, and uh, temporarily welcome her to the colony. I think we're making the bed out of steel. Wood is uh, incredibly rare, it seems, and very hard to get your hands on. With Thompson taking care of the research, that leaves Slim available to do something else. I think we'll stick down a hand tailoring bench. Now you have two choices here. You can use the electric or the hand. The hand is 50% slower. Uh, the electric one, 50% faster. Thing is, you actually gain more experience the longer it takes you to, to produce the item, so we're just going to get them to slowly grind stuff out. So, steel bench only costs 75 steel, the electric one costs 125 steel and two components, and we're trying to conserve our components. We have seven components there, which is not great, but at the same time, not only do we have seven components there, we do have these two ship chunks over here. And these two ship chunks, we can deconstruct for components. It's just while they're trapped inside the ship chunks, they're not nearly as valuable, so, and also they're much safer from getting destroyed. They're like a, like a piggy bank for our, for our components. Uh, Slim, I want you to get right on building that. Slim here is, yeah, pretty terrible at crafting. They're six. They're still better than... Oh, Thompson's got a five. Well, we're not going to keep Thompson anyway. But Slim here has a crafting skill of six. So what we can get them to do is build stuff that takes the longest amount of time or the least amount of resource input. And that's capes, as far as I can tell. There might be something else you can get with other technology. But right now, I think 80 ingredients for 267 work amount. Probably the best we're going to get. Uh, and make sure Thompson doesn't get involved. Yeah, this is totally going to work out. You're right beside a pawn who is volatile while well, they're sleeping. That'll be grand. Uh, we should probably get them a meal as well. Once you've got your recreation, this way they can cycle through and use the same chair for dining. I should probably put a second chair there just in case, but... Mm. Okay, no, I probably should, especially since this guy will be sciencing a lot. All right, well, deconstruct you and just put in a stool. Something, something cheap to keep us going. We're actually managing to keep Thompson pretty happy. Slightly impressive rec room, dining room, aesthetic has awful bedroom. You're welcome. Recreation satisfied, spacious interior, quite comfortable. Huh. No, no, we can't keep them. It'll be too hard to keep their mood high. Not without, like, sticking in a joy wire or something, which would sort of defeat the purpose. We are an aesthetic, which would make them really great for giving honor to. Which is kind of a waste, because he's already given five points of it to uh, Slim over here. Hmm. Oh, the donkeys. I completely blanked those. I got distracted. Uh, which one is running away? Okay, donkey one is running away. Turns out Thompson's religion is not a fan of animal slaughter and innocent animal killing. Uh, yeah. Also strong animal connection, meat eating disapproved. They were never going to last out here. Not a chance. And that's a major break risk. Why is... Slim? Ravenously hungry. The environment, body mother frustrated. Why have you got stuck indoors? Disturb sleep. Okay, okay, we'll get you a a fine meal immediately. Okay. Damn, okay. That's the that's a first. We have run out of simple meals for Thompson, and they're probably not gonna like the carnivore ones. So I'm thinking it's almost time for them to be uh well, donate to a mood boost. Now, there is one thing I'd like to try it. This ideology diagram thing. This should help improve our rituals and stuff like that. We can also use a lectern. That's 50, but the ideology gram, I want to try that. So we put it there. Uh, it costs 50 resources at 417 work. That's going to take Slim a little bit of time, but they'll, they'll manage. They're Actually, it'll really help out their construction skill. What are we at? Eight? Don't think we'll quite make it to nine, but maybe close enough. Ah, there's the psychic drone for females low. Yep, that's not going to help at all. That's a minus 12. Fine, once we stop being ravenously hungry, that should sort that out. Uh, come on, get this started. Oh my god, we're almost out of steel again. That's the thing, you run out of resources so quick, you have to be really careful what you spend it on, which is why we haven't ripped out the silver walls yet. It's just we have no way of getting any more steel. Well, okay, let me rephrase. We have about six 
steel slag chunks, each worth 15 steel. Uh, on top of that, we have this over each worth about ooh, 22 to 20, 26 pieces of steel per tile. So we have a few hundred steel left, but that's it until we can find some other way of getting more sustainable steel. So I want to like hold off as long as possible on spending steel unless I absolutely positively have to. This, though, should definitely help with our rituals, which should hopefully help expand our religion, because if we can't expand our religion, we're in a lot of trouble. All right, with this done, there is actually one thing I would like to do. Change the role for Slim. And the thing is, uh, Snipe Holder we would like. That's Shooting Specialist, but that disables a whole bunch of things. We won't be able to cook, for example, which would be bad, considering, you know, we're a one-person colony. Uh, the Leader thing is actually pretty handy. It will give us a required apparel of vis visage mask, but we can we can make one of those. Uh, so I think we will do that. Might as well. Change roll. Off you go. Uh, we gain the following abilities. Leader speech, work drive, combat command, trial. Huh. Okay, requires combat visage. Okay, go for it. Uh, let's see what happens. Come on. Hey, what are they saying? Offer their thoughts on the importance of a new rules, book better strengths and how to leverage them, discuss life's purpose. Ooh, leveled up their social to level 11. Very nice. Talked about her new role in the community. Yeah, it's going to be a much smaller community shortly. Spoke about her strengths and how to leverage them. Offered her thoughts on decision making under stress. Described her shortcomings. Yet yeah, none. Offered, offered thoughts on thankfulness. Spoke about life's purpose. Successful role change. Kind of the one that had me intrigued was accuse. A trial over some heinous accusation. Um, okay. We accuse them? Oh, you need at least one spectator, it won't allow you. It turns out Hope doesn't count. Okay, well, never mind. We'll get them to melee attack Hope. And... Ideology forbids attacking animals. Well then! Um... Sorry, Slim. But the two of you are about to have a little bit of a punch-up. Ow! Okay, then we're gonna have a little bit of an arrest here. Now, remember, before we execute them, we want to strip them this time. Maybe we can find some clothes for them. And then we can assign an execution. Actually, let's do a nice big public execution. The thing is, since we're doing this at the ideogram, yeah, we get a bonus to that, a plus 20%, which increases our chances of actually having a satisfying or spectacular execution. And reduces the chance of an awkward one to 32%. I'm liking those odds. All right. Oh, and I should probably check. How much damage did we do to ourselves there with that uh, punch? Jaw. Crack. It's fine. It's fine. They'll recover. Oh, I should have checked. What was their medical? Oh, man. I probably should have got them to do an operation before I did this. Oh, well. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do not be using... It's only a crack. You do not need to be using medicine that good for that. Just, just you know, regular medicine. You'll be fine. Oh, my God. It's an awkward public execution. Oh, 38% chance. Okay, well, yeah, you can't have it every which way. And I just realized there while they were executing, their social was actually incredibly high. Uh, well, we can't see them anymore, but uh, where is it? Under needs. I'm betting they're going to have a minus for friend died. Yep, my friend Thompson died. Minus four for 20 days. That, uh, they punched you in the jaw, man. I suppose it happens. Well, the psychic drone is over and we can get back to doing science. Uh, it's a pity to make that leader thing earlier. You can do work drive, combat, ex combat command, and accuse, and begin leader speech. I need to start using these more often. Mm. Oh, I also need to set them up, a, build them a visage mask. I had no idea, but the visage mask is made out of steel. Uh, right, so it cost us 15 steel to make. Still wouldn't have changed my mind. I think the leader thing will come in handy once we get a second colonist. Well, it's back to researching, all by our lonesome again, and hoping that at some point a colonist comes by that's not horrendous. Well, it's a Manhunter pack, so can't be that horrendous. Let's see, total points from wealth, 38. Oh my god. How is our wealth getting that high? Ooh, okay, 31 from pawns. Yeah, what it was this? Jump to location. Oh, it's wargs. Well, hmm. Pity. I think you can heal them if you're willing to spend a lot of medicine. I am not. So, I think we just stay indoors. We have no reason to go outside at the moment. Yeah, I think we just leave it. They can hang around outside. If anyone else shows up, they can fight him. We've got everything we need inside. We're just going to do science. A royal tribute collector has shown up. And I suppose it just got warm enough. Uh, I 
don't know if we're going to get negative mood because they're about to get attacked by a bunch of wargs. Uh, guys? Guys? Seriously? Are you not going to fight back? Okay, never mind. It took one hit and then you realize that that was a bad thing. Okay then. Uh, no immediate danger. You guys will be fine. Of course, this doesn't help us in the slightest. The reason being, we don't have any gold. Um, they need gold or slaves. We have neither. Though if someone showed up and wanted to get enslaved right about now, that'd be nice, but I doubt it. Oh, and that warg is dead, but is it... It's fresh. Oh. Normally when they have scaria, they go straight into just rotten. And uh, we'll stick that in the fridge. Transport pod crash. Perfect. Either it's a new colonist, or it's someone we can sell. Uh, actually, well, assuming they can walk. Chemical fascination. Oh. God damn it. Well, the Empire left before our uh, potential sale target got up. Raid. Oh, mech hives. Oh, God. Well, that's not good. But it's very, 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 very bad. Uh, where are they landing? Where are they landing? Oh, okay, okay, okay. What do we do? What do we do? I think really we can do. We just have to figure out where they're going to land first. That is over there. What do we got to face? What do we got to face? Don't be scythers. Don't be centipedes. Don't be centipedes or scythers. Scythers or centipedes would be bad. Okay. Two lancers and a pikeman. That's... That's not so bad. That's... Oh, well. They'll outrange us, but we need to get in close. Mm. How do we manage this? The plan is fairly straightforward. Uh, hope... I'm going to want you to stay inside. We are going to try and lure them into close combat. If they get tangled up fighting a warg, we can do our shooting at them. Now, we just need to get down here and... Actually, we can hide behind the wind turbine. Wind turbine has 50% cover effectiveness, uh, but we don't really want to get into a shooting match with them. Getting into a shooting match would be catastrophically dangerous. Okay. Okay, we just want to get close enough that we're just coming into range of them. Yep, and then we're out of there. We just want to taunt them a little bit, so hopefully they target us. What we'll do is we'll hide up here. We'll take a pot shot, and then they should chase us. Okay, come on. Perfect. Out of the way. Well, when I say perfect, I mean you miss terrifically. Right, they're still coming. They're still coming. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Actually. Oop. Okay, you, training. I want you to follow Master Well Drafted and attack. That is beautiful. Oh, yes. Okay, oh no. Um, okay, I think we get... Go back to the assault rifle again. Put on the turret to draw their fire. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Then while they're busy targeting that. Perfect. Wait, not perfect. How is that Lancer right thumb shut off? We shut off its thumb? How do you even have thumbs? Seriously, okay, your right arm is damaged. Left arm has got hit by the warg. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on. How is it still alive? Okay. Right arm is off. Just die already. Seriously. Oh, now I remember why I hate mechanoids so much. Okay, okay. Okay, slim. Quick, quick, get in closer, get in closer, get in closer. Okay, you need to stop firing. Otherwise, you're going to hit one of ours. Point blank range, we still miss. What are we at? Six shooting? Come on! This thing at least has terrible close combat DPS. The warg is basically carrying us. If it wasn't for hope, I think we'd be dead right now. Come on, come on, come on! How's hope doing? Six conditions that need tending. A damn sight less than what those things need. That was scary as all hell. We suck versus mechanoids. Dear lord. Like, if it wasn't for hope... We'd be dead. Like, look at that. She basically ripped them apart. There's a few gunshots there from the charge lance, but we sucked. 
Oh, wow. Okay, okay. Um, never mind. We'll smash them up for parts. And actually, no, we need a smelter for that. Don't we? I'll worry about that in a minute. We need to get uh, medical tending hope. Quick set of repairs to make good on all the damage that was done. And I think, I think we can get back to sciencing. I'm going to keep this guy for a little bit longer. I mean, I don't see any reason to kill him. Uh, they're not terribly useful. Their chemical fascination is more of an annoyance, though. The pro oh, actually, no, it will be a problem. I'll have to check, but I'm pretty sure they've got a needs thing for chemical, and if it's not met, they get depressed. Which, out here in the rim, like, normally, I would more than happily just produce some beer for them, but we can't produce beer just yet, so they're not a suitable candidate. And it looks like Despy joined us anyway. Well... Yeah, we'll find you soon. They've got crafting. I think we can turn some of this leather and stuff into something we can sell. I wonder what the highest profit margins we can get from crafted stuff is. I think first things first, we get Despy here and we get them to make themselves a pair of pants. Namely because they are a little bit unhappy currently with their pants. Ratty apparel. Uh, proving their bedroom might be a little bit difficult. It is terrible. We could put in some fence posts made of jade, though I'd kind of prefer to save that. Hmm much we can do to improve this place to be honest. It would require flooring or a bunch of resources and I'm not willing to spend that much. I'm cheap. Looks like the weather changing has finally worn off. We no longer have... Well, okay we still have foggy rain but it should go away shortly. Ooh, even more spacecraft chunks. That's even over by the other ones. That is a nice bank of components we've got. And what's that? Dis Something came onto the map. A group of travelers from the teen coalition are passing by. Hmm... You know, I would like to capture a bunch of them at some point and just get them to join us, but I think having their uh, their caravan show up is probably more important. Also, Pyromaniac. Pyromaniac. Iron Will Slowpoke. Ugh, depressive. Never mind. Yeah, th they can keep on walking. Solar Flare. And Cargo Pods. Right. <laughs> Give me a second to adapt. Jesus. Okay. More pemmican. Well, in that case, we shall add that to stuff we want. Okay, you can go... Yeah, we'll grab all of you, and we'll grab all of you. Though I think we'll let... Actually, no, we won't let Despy out there. Namely because they're close to mental breaking. Time to scrap up some steel. I went along and collected all of the chunks on the map. Well, not all of them. There's actually a bunch more over here I have to get. But I've got most of them. It's just, you know, there's... Uh, they keep ending up all over the place, and it takes a really long time to go out and get them, and I'm kind of lazy. While we're at it, I think... I'm going to put together a machining table. Uh, it's expensive, but, well, the biggest expense is going to be the five components it takes to create, craft it. But this will allow us to dismantle mechanoids. Now, we could just smash them up, but no, this is more efficient about it. And uh, let's see, uh, where is it? Shred mechanoids. Also, it oh, gives us the option to make a smoke launcher. I should have done this earlier. And molotovs. Oh, we need cloth for that. Yeah, I like the idea of making a smoke launcher. That would allow us to train our shooting and make us not as terrible. Yeah, do forever. That gained us 41 steel. Hmm, no component stuff. I think I'm going to go dismantle one of those uh, ship chunks right about now. In fact, we'll, we'll take the furthest away one. We'll go deconstruct that and carry it back. Oh, and then we will uninstall that bit. We're going to need to install that. Well, hide that away. We don't want it breaking down. Also... Disconnect the power. I can't believe we're still surviving on one wind turbine. What do we get? Five, five components. Perfect. Despy, we have a goal for you before you go insane from the drug withdrawal. Uh, night Isle in the daytime, chemical hunger. Oh, you see, they've got this chemical bar over here and as it goes down, they get to hurt. They just get worse and worse. I think, I think Psychite Tea is the way to go. Uh, one second, we're actually going to pick up some of that Psychite Tea ourselves. Uh, Damn it! One second. Despy can have the other psychite tea. That should help keep their mood high enough just for a little bit longer. And then we're going to get them to craft a full set of thrombofur gear for this person. If Slim can get like a parka, shirt, pants made out of thrombofur, it'll drastically increase their survivability. Now, one second while we queue that all up. There we go. Probably the most expensive bill of clothing I've ever put together. All made out of thrombofur. Pants, button-down shirt, parka. Uh, there are best crafter, though I think I won't hit them up with the, the work boost. Work drive, as far as I'm, I'm aware, just makes them work faster, which would mean they'd get less experience out of it anyway. I'd prefer if they have a higher chance of getting another... Oh, actually, what does this do? Hmm. Okay, room impressiveness, leader speech progress. Can we do a leader speech? 
it would oh, 39% of the expected quality. Oh, good chance of it being uninspiring. Let's not do that. No, nope, we're good. Oh yeah, Despy, your job is to produce some really good gear. Level 9 crafting. I like it. Now, what kind of pants did you make? Thrombo fur pants, normal. Yeah, still better than what we're wearing. So, force wear thrombo fur pants. Go. Just to go over the difference here, the current thrombo fur pants we're wearing have a sharp protection, which is, you know, bullets, arrows, that kind of stuff, 41.6%. The original stuff we were wearing had 18.8%. .8%, so we've over doubled our protection. And hopefully Despy can do better on the torso stuff, because the shirt and the, well, I prefer to keep the torso and arms as good as possible, because that keeps us shooting and in the fight longer. Oops, I somehow let Slim go below, oh, my friend Thompson, what, did, how did I mess up? Why are their expectations so low? Darkness, unsightly environment? Oh, well, it, it's really hard. They're a pessimist and a body modder, which means we've got a natural minus 10, which has sort of added a little bit to the difficulty of this run. But they're on an insulting spree now. I really hope this does not come to blows. They really like each other, though, so... Uh... Should we run away? That might be our best bet. Uh, what's the shirt looking like? Normal shirt? Despy! Come on, Despy. Um... Okay, Slim, what are you doing? Insulting Despy. Well, yeah, of course you are. I think we might have to just run Despy away for a bit. That might be... Yeah, we'll do that. That way they have to run after us, and we'll just keep running away. I mean, they'll get bored eventually, right? <sighs> Go back to work. Hopefully they don't hate each other too much after this, and they didn't start fighting, so... Yeah? Oh wow, actually, they do like each other now. That's, that's problematic. Ugh... Well, I don't want them liking each other, because then when the execution inevitably happens, you know, one of them is going to be a bit sad. Uh, you. Force wear that thrombo for a button-down shirt. You're going to need it. And Despy's gone on a food binge. God damn it. Well, that's what I get for running them around outside. Like, I killed them, but they've already started making that parka, and that's inconvenient. That would be a waste of thrombo fur. Not, not that we haven't got more thrombo fur lying about the place. Uh, I think, though, we can make a caravan. Hmm. I got an idea. We're gonna load all the food into the caravan. Uh, there we go. So, what you gonna eat now, buddy? I have no idea what'll happen now. You're gonna wig it. Relaxing socially. Mental state pigging out. Psychite tolerance small. Okay. Um. Great. We'll just uh, hang on for a little bit until you're done. We have a quest. You've learned of an ancient complex nearby that is said to contain an ancient treasure. You can break in and connect the loot inside. Be warned, these kinds of structures can contain a variety of threats. In addition, you ac your activity at the complex might draw unwanted attention. Yeah, we're going to have to go after that at some point. Not now, but at some point. Preferably after we've got access to some sort of magic. Now, if Despy could just do something better than normal this time around. Nope. Nope. Three normals in a row. Uh, that's probably fine. Eh, uh, force wear thrombo for a parka. What's the protection on this? Eh, uh, sharp protection, 41%. It's, it's not the best. I was really hoping for something with a little bit more oomph to it. But hey, what can you do? It is what it is. Now, there is an arms merchant, combat merchant from the Teen Coalition. I really hope they have some good gear with them. Ooh, quest at clock. Let's see what we got here. Uh, Dave Vera, the Holy Chief. Okay, so it's one of the tribal ones. Requesting a favor. Guard someone for 1.3 days. We'll get attacked by two raids of seven scythers. Well, the first one of the raids will be seven scythers. The other one could be God knows what. We get four archers to do it, but that's actually pretty handy. Four archers plus our two guys. That means there's six of us. You know, Glitter World Medicine. Uh, I don't want... <sighs> no, thanks. I don't think this is worth the risk. That's just... No. Nope, 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 nope. Bye-bye. We're done. Uh, in the meantime, we're going to get Despy to produce more of these... I'm going to finish Thumb Before Parkers. Did I tell you to produce a Parko? I told you to produce... I, th I wanted them to produce a, um, a button-down shirt. It's cheaper. All right, trade time. Well, that sucks. They won't buy any of our clothing at all. So, boo. Uh, the only things they'll buy, it seems, are weapons and armor, of which we don't have any because we got rid of them all already. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, let's hope the next year, actually, we can sell them frag grenades and a bolt-action rifle. Nope, 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 nope. Wow, it's a good thing we traded with them immediately. They're literally leaving instantly. 
because when I was looking at that quest, I was thinking maybe we could use them as a buffer for one of the raids. I'm glad we didn't do that, definitely. That would have made things much more awkward. Another quest I don't like the look of. The old complex. You've learned of an ancient complex nearby. It is said to contain information about the Locorpus. If you can break into the structure and hack the computers inside, you can collect the information. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, fine. Uh, Subquest of the ancient Locorpus. Right. Jump to ancient complex. Yep, yep, yep. Wait, is that not the one from before? Never mind. Not going to worry about it. We've got research to do. I just want to knock out this research today. Just finish it. We are going to get Despi to make ourselves a smoke launcher. This is going to cost a lot. Four components, but it will give us a way to train up our shooting skill. And if we can train up our shooting skill, we'll be far more survivable. As you've seen, we have missed so many shots. If we could train that up to like nine or ten, that would be a huge improvement. And we already have hope to shoot at, so it kind of works. We're also going to hit up Despi with work drive. It only takes a second to apply, but basically it gives them a global work speed bonus of 50%, so they should hopefully finish the smoke launcher faster. We're not really worried too much about the quality, we just want them to get it done before they go insane. Which, yeah, that catharsis is about to wear off and the chemical is not so good. Uh, chemical hunger is only going to get worse as well. Tell you what, you can have our, uh, our last emergency supply of psychite tea. It's all yours, Despy. Okay, if you don't want it, that's fine. Finally! Finally, yes! Oh. Research complete in microelectronics. This gives us access to the orbital trade beacon in the comms console. We can finally get around to selling all our stuff. We have a whole bunch of clothing we need to get rid of. Now we just gotta figure out where we're putting the comms console. I don't think you can move it either, so we gotta be real careful about that. Oh, and I should probably go get some more steel. Oops. Yeah, I kind of spent a bunch of it. Yeah, we'll have enough for a comms console, just about. Though, power is going to be... Hmm, maybe I shouldn't have... No, no. We needed the smoke launcher for the defense, but I'm going to cut that out there for today because I'm already over time. Uh, next plan will be lots of training. Uh, we're also going to need to... Well, comms console, lots of training, and then selling all this stuff off as much as possible because we have moderate expectations right now. That is a minus 12 to our, our mood. Well... 12 points the, the bad direction, and I would like to, if at all possible, get someone who's got decent medical and perform an operation on Slim. If we can give them just one artificial body part, they'll get rid of this body modder frustrated thing, and that would be so nice. But anyway, I'm going to cut this out here. I uh, hope you enjoyed, and good luck. Mm -hmm.